What is up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to fix your broken fidget spinner and this is probably a pretty common thing that happens to fidget spinners. This has happened to me twice now and um, chances are if you've had one it's probably happened to you at some point or if not will happen. So uh, if it breaks usually this is how it's broken for me and um, what happens is like you might drop it once and you might end up with like a crack and um, I'm going to see if it'll focus there but it probably won't because I'm recording and that's just how things go. But um, if there's a crack, sometimes it'll get worse and it'll completely break off like this, or maybe your bearing will just fall out a lot. So um, what I'm going to be showing you here today is how to fix that so your bearing won't be flying out, or if you have a broken piece like this, I will show you how to fix it. Now first, you want to make sure you have every single piece to your fidget spinner. Um, you need to make sure that they can go together like a puzzle and fit together and there are no spaces. And what I mean by that is if you put it in this way, there's like a little bit of space. You need to make sure everything is smooth and if you push it together you can't see any spaces. And um, also what could happen is you might miss like a tiny piece of your fidget spinner if it like shatters somehow. Um, doing this will like show you that you have every single part. If everything looks right, it, you probably have every part. Um, also you're going to need some super glue. This is what works the best for me. And um, I've done this I think twice now and it's worked very well. So the first thing I do is I take the center bearing out just because I don't want to uh, damage anything and I'm trying to remember how this fidget spinner works. You have to take the cap off and then slide it out. So you take that out just so you can kind of see any cracks that are on the inside here and um, also you don't want to get super glue in this because that will kind of ruin everything and you'll have to get a new bearing. But um, right now I'm just kind of looking at it, there are cracks all over this one. So. Uh, the main purpose here is we're going to try and get this attached to here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our super glue. Also you might want something um, to set this on, kind of like what I have here. You don't want to get super glue on anything because it, it just is a big mess. So I'm going to make sure my super glue works, which is very dry. Oh my. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, by the way, when you do this, these uh, bearings here and here usually won't spin anymore which isn't a big deal because um, some of the cheaper fidget spinners they never span well spun I can't even English don't make fun of me please so I'm putting glue there and here on the edge um, on the inside and now I'm gonna just stick it together and um, I'm gonna hold it and just let the glue kinda get a grip and um, I'm definitely gonna do more gluing after this starts just getting stick um, I don't know how to say it. Once this starts kind of like to grab, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And um, once you have it so you don't have to hold it, we're going to put glue all in the cracks that you just put together. And um, it can take some time, and even while I'm holding this, I might go ahead and put some glue in the crack. And um, you want to make sure that this bearing is not like sticking out. You want to make sure it's in the right spot. And so what I do is I put glue on this edge where the bearing and the actual fidget spinner come together. I put some glue in there which really helps support it but um, also it makes it so it won't spin anymore there. Which I mean isn't the fidget spinner's purpose. It's supposed to spin in the center. Um, I guess those are just kind of extra things to play with but um, it's not a big deal to me. So when you're doing this um, you can use a paper towel or something kind of like smooth out the glue so it's not protruding out from your fidget spinner and gonna be annoying you anytime you spin it. And, um, I'm just letting this hold. It's better to kind of hold it longer um, just to make sure everything's not gonna fall apart when I let go. Because it takes time for this stuff to dry compared to like hot glue. But um, the reason I wouldn't use hot glue is because it's not as permanent. I'm just gonna keep filling in these cracks. While I'm doing this, if you have the problem where your bearing keeps flying out, you can just use some super glue along the edge and just glue it in so it's not going to be falling. And you might as well put glue on the cracks that you have anywhere else in your fidget spinner just to give it some more support. And um, after you fill in the crack with super glue, because I have multiple cracks on this, what you're going to do is just smooth it out with a paper towel. So I'm just getting every crack and putting some glue on every bearing. And you need to make sure you don't get any super glue on yourself because it's not fun to get off. It stays on you for a long time. And so now I'm 
got everything pretty well, I'm gonna take this paper towel again and just kind of go over everything and smooth everything out so it's not sharp. Okay, now, so I super glued this side, um, at least on the broken part. Now I'm gonna flip it over and it's already being able to support itself um, not too well because this side isn't glued in. There's not much glue as I'm seeing in this crack. So I'm gonna put a bunch of glue in this crack and all along this edge right here. And like I said, you just need to make sure that you don't put a ton on this side. Um, you need to make sure you're just even, otherwise your fidget spinner will kind of jolt when you spin it. And the thing about fixing all these other cracks is it's giving me an opportunity to balance everything out. I'm putting glue on every side versus just that one side. And pretty much when you do this, you'll never have the perfect balance that you had originally, if you ever had that. Um, because you can never do this perfectly and put the right amount of weight on each side. And uh, I'm going to take a paper towel once again, smooth everything out. And I'm still being careful not to get anything on my fingers. Hopefully they're not, yeah, they're not stuck to my fidget spinner, which is nice. And you're probably going to want to hold this for at least a couple minutes for it to dry. And then um, once you've held it for a few minutes, then you can set it down and let it dry even longer. Um, also, I just remembered sometimes fidget spinners break here along this edge and here. And um, if that happens, it's the same exact process. You just super glue it and you put some on the inside of the fidget spinner, smash it down and then put it along the sides. And then take the paper towel and glide over it, make sure it's not like um, protruding out. And yeah, so I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, so I've let this fidget spinner dry for a few minutes and I put um, even some more glue in this crack since um, I was able to take a better look at it. And now I let everything dry and it's pretty firm now, I can wiggle it, it's not just going to fly off and I'm going to put the center back in and I'm going to take this cap off and then I'll just slide this through and then I'll put the other cap back on and we'll make sure everything spins right. And it's spinning and I don't feel any jolting like it would um, if it was super unbalanced. So this has worked for me and I've done it several times with my fidget spinners. I know sometimes if you drop it, it could fall apart again um, or crack somewhere else. Just keep using your super glue and you can keep repairing it as long as you have the time to repair it. And um, also you can always just buy a new one if it's like too broken to fix, if there are like a ton of cracks in it, but yeah. Today we fixed this fidget spinner. If I was able to help you at all, I hope you drop a like on the video or uh, leave a comment telling me that I was able to help you. That'd be really nice and I'll see you guys later.